<laughs> I don't know Ima- uh, Imani at all. Yeah. Um, but there was that one. What did you did a video about us or something? He yeah. responded to. No, you sat down with him. I didn't sit or down. Or something. Oh, Twitter space. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. it was like two hours, right? A really long time. It was long. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like and is, yeah. I heard because someone clipped it, the thing that he addressed with me, and I I really liked what he said. Yeah. I don't. Again, I don't know. I don't know Joe. I don't know these guys. So you know what I mean? Like my opinion is pretty neutral. Got it. Um, I was gonna ask this because I find this an interesting thing to be like where like street morals get applied to podcasting and it's like it's, it's so, <laughs> dude, it, it, dude, that is so funny. It is, right? <laughs> it's like, so ridiculous. Because like Imani was on the pa- this isn't even really necessarily about Imani, it's a larger point. He was on the Patreon and he was saying like people who aren't close to the situation shouldn't say anything. And I'm like, but it's a podcast. <laughs> and, it, and it played out like the the because he was responding to the video you had done in response to Savon and Alex about the secret meeting. And you had stuff to say about maybe what Joe has done as far as the narrative and kind of oh, yeah. all that. And I think Imani's point was like, you shouldn't say something because if you're close to the situation, you weren't close to the situation. But like that happened in front of everybody. Like the Joe Budden podcast, Break with Rory and Maul, is not some type of secret backdoor meeting. And what yeah, I was going to say, for, for <laughs> yeah. one, that was one that played out pretty, by pretty, I mean literally in public. In front of our eyes. Oh. So, and I, I was going to say, to to counter that, like, you know, again, Rory's a friend of mine. So yeah. if there was, in some cases there are, but not nothing that needs to be more known that would take away from the situation at hand. But, you know, Rory tells me things that, you know, may have happened that weren't expressed or moments like that. So, yeah, I'm, I think I'm w- well within my right to form an opinion on things based on the public information, <laughs> yeah. the very public information and the stuff that I've heard from my friend. And obviously, I have a bias to, to my guys here. And I, I, regardless of bias or not, I think, you know, what was done was kind of shitty. But what was done? Was this, was, come on, bro. <laughs> Look on your YouTube channel. You no, know it was done. I mean, it was, you yeah. just did like a anniversary recap video. <laughs> you motherfucker. See that? You see that? Yeah, I saw that. You I was on the way out. here. I was like, let's see what Danny's been posting. <laughs> I was like, shit, there was another fallout between them. And it was like, a re- you did like a fucking, th- on this day, 2021. I was like, what the hell? Like, this guy's doing like history book shit. <laughs> you know I'm going to do that about y'all at some point. Uh, sure. <laughs> yeah. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for it. Yeah. It's 2023. Yeah, I'll, do, I'll do a VO. I'll do a VO for you. Yeah. I'll do a, a guest voiceover. But the thing is, like, you're first. Like, I, I love when podcasters do this to me. It's like, you covered it, but you were there. Like, you were. And that's the thing that I'm not going to allow you guys to do. You guys were also there when everything was happening. And I'm sure Rory was, like, talking to you about all of this shit. Well, on, no, to be honest, a lot of that stuff. No, there was no, like, the, to your point, the public side of things was all the information I was given. And, wow. yes, I'm friends with Rory, but I think once the the, the falling out happened, they were so focused on landing mm-hmm. on their f- feet and focusing on the, the next step that there wasn't, like, really time to harp on what just happened. It was like, let's get this you know, let's strike while the iron's hot. Let's figure out what we're doing next. And then that's when my line was tapped. They didn't like, Rory didn't turn to me and be like, hey, you'll never guess what happened. I saw what happened. Yeah. So it was no like, let's catch up and get drinks and talk about this shit. It was like, yo, I saw the this is our channel. We need to, uh, how many Instagram accounts can you uh, open on your phone? Like how many, can you get this Twitter handle? Like it was more actionable rather than like talking about shit that, you know, happened. Okay. Publicly.